Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be discussing the 1.03 update and also tournament mode which is a new feature. So if you go on the Facebook page you would have seen this, new items and new features coming soon. I know what the new items are, at least for next week, but I'm not sure about the new features. Hopefully it's going to be local play, but I'm not sure about that. So the new items that you can win next week in the tournament, I imagine each tournament you win you get one piece. It all belongs to someone you know well and someone you've all been asking for for quite a long while. I even made a lookalike video on him but now you can get the proper, proper costume for the Andy Whitfield Spartacus. So if you want to get this costume what you're going to have to do is win the tournament. I reckon like I said before it's going to be one tournament win per piece so you're going to need to win four tournaments to actually get it. And then next week there's going to be some new items so probably Ganicus or Agron or maybe the Egyptian dude. Not the DLC we all wanted but still it's definitely better than nothing and this is the 1.03 update. You get house banners, gladiator titles which you can see here and there's quite a vast array of them. Most of them are for silver apart from the top five which are gold so I don't know if you really spend gold on a name but it's up to you if you want to get the well endowed as your name or anything like that. Maybe flesh eater that sounds pretty cool or the crucified but other than that I think all the good ones are silver like the legend of Capua. Anyway this is going to show up when you play a game or in a tournament or anything like that it's going to show up so next up i'm going to be looking at banners and there's five banners for your ludus that you can buy basically some of them are gold some of them are silver and you basically make your design on top of that you can pick a bunch of different colors as your base color for your banner and then you can put all these cool things on top of them i think you can get up to eight layers but it costs loads and loads of gold after you go past three so i would stick to three if i was you and this is the banner that i made pretty simple really but it looks pretty cool in my opinion and next up i'm going to be showing you some other ideas of have for spartacus to stop it dying a silent death most importantly it's local play because everyone wants to be able to play against their mates without rage quitters annoying them and just for fun as well I think they could definitely add that in it shouldn't take too much trouble then I think they should make a Ganicus expansion pack which not only has Ganicus but it has a whole bunch of missions and different people you've got to kill to actually get to Ganicus in an epic final battle I think that would be wicked and then also I think they need to do gladiator face hair and name customization that would be really good it would allow you to actually make Spartacus and then use all this new stuff that you just unlocked from the tournaments on him and then next week if they did Ganicus stuff you could do the same thing give him long hair change his name etc next I think they could add 2v2 or possibly 4v4 and I said battle royale before I'm not sure if the engine can actually handle that at the moment but that brings me on to my next point which is a next gen sequel and I really think people would be really interested in paying for a full game that would be really really good Spartacus Legends 2 maybe it could be in the gladiator arena just a little bit more updated maybe a little bit more three-dimensional and that you could have all these cool modes in as well but they also could do a war of the damned game where you're actually playing co-op against all the armies of romans which would be really really fun and lastly i just wanted to talk about which spin-off you would prefer to see whether it's the caesar spin-off with obviously crassus or a ganicus spin-off because obviously there's five years gap where no one knows what happens to ganicus and he travels all around the world so i think that would be a really really good idea in my opinion and i'd love to see that let me know what you think about that and all my other ideas and also the tournament mode and all the andy spartacus stuff in the comment section below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.